What's up everybody, we're back with Mass Effect Legendary Edition and it's time to end the game. Yeah. Let's see, what is left? We'll be talking to some of our squad mates here. The Varmaya missions were all completed last time. After every mission, I talk to my squad mates. Yes, Commander? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Commander. Are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Alliance medical personnel take courses in alien biology, just in case. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's no innocent victim. He was a ruthless bastard long before he fell under Sovereign's control. I know his reputation, but he was a Spectre. I think he honestly believed everything he did was for the greater good. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Fair enough. What did you want to talk about? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Now in Mass Effect 1, your Renegade and Paragon points matter less in comparison to Mass Effect 2 and 3 where they are very important because that's what allow you to take the Paragon and Renegade interrupts and get those nice dialogues. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. A good soldier's worth a lot more than your respect. I'd rather have her back. The loss of a trusted ally is never easy to accept. It is a shame that the greatest among us are prone to such sacrifices. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to work together again someday. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The Captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Let me see what you have. I expect from all my people. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna hunt him down and kill him. I like the sound of that. 
Shepard. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with me. I've thought about what you said. But you were right about Dr. Salia, too. Killing him? Was he... This way, we'll know he'll never hurt anyone again. Don't worry, Commander. I will. though. I know Theron's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. What are you hoping to find? Usually, people bring back something like a derelict ship we can use for salvage. But I need something bigger. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. So are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty Board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. You must get all kinds of special privileges. I probably had it easier than most growing up. But it's not all good. People like my father have enemies. And they're not above using me to get to him. Why didn't you tell me this before? I guess I'm just tired of people judging me because of who my father is. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Steren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Seren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. What was your father like? It wasn't easy growing up as the daughter of one of the Admiralty. Even before he joined the board, he was a prominent figure. People looked to him for leadership. He had to set an example, and he expected the same of his daughter. Plus, he was pretty strict, a military man through and through. He never allowed me to settle for anything less than excellence. As a kid, I sometimes felt like he was pushing me too hard. But now I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't owe us anything. If we want something in life, we have to earn it. Where was your mother in all this? Mother was around, but she always seemed to kind of blend into the background. Almost like she was overshadowed by my father. He tends to do that to people. She passed on about five years ago. Some airborne virus that swept through the fleet. Happens sometimes when the filters start to break down. I think my father took it pretty hard. After she was gone, he became even more focused on his work. I think that was his way of dealing with the grief. I want to talk about something else. Like what? I should go. 
See you later. Something I can do for you, Commander. I want to know more about the Normandy. She's the best ship I've ever served on. Probably the fastest vessel ever designed. And she's the only one using the new Tantalus Drive Core. What's so special about the Tantalus Drive Core? Proportionally, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge. Carry on, them. Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Seren. The Ambassador is correct. If Patrols Saren... are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Seren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. You yeah. bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Commander, I've got a message from Captain Anderson. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior... Sorry, Commander. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. Commander Shepard answered difficult questions, demonstrating that under that military uniform is a keen diplomatic mind. Diplomatic my ass.
Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarian. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I don't remember seeing you hip deep in Geth back on Eden Prime. <laughs> I'm not on the front lines, but I'm making sure our jobs don't get outsourced to the... I need every edge I can get. Specifically, I need a certain mental stimulant. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. If you know the monthly limits, why'd you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Salarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. Is your assistant incompetent or just inexperienced? Worse. He's an alien sympathizer. My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're real. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Why is this deal so important? The Salarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. Is your assistant incompetent or just an experience? Worse. My assistant wants to... No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget Getting you your drug fix is not high on my list. What century are you living in? Do you think those Solarians hesitate before amping themselves up? If you won't help me keep humanity strong, I'll find somebody else who will. is interesting. I wonder if I can find a copy to bring back to the flotilla. I'm glad you came, sir. I heard you happen. You had to know what was gonna happen. Why didn't you warn me? I tried. The ambassador wouldn't let me get a message through before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. He if won't I just can... stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control.
If you're lucky, the patrols won't catch you. I'll be careful. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. If you've gotten your temper back under control, I could still use help. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just all the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Will overdosing on stimulants and getting arrested help humanity, Keeler? Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. You won't be doing humanity any favors if you overdose during negotiations. Get help now. You don't understand! Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. That's an addict talking, Keeler. What does it take to convince you? You're... you're right, uh... I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry you came to this. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. Yeah, cram your honor. What's this riot about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences, politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. That is not unreasonable, but some of the things these people are saying sound a bit bigoted. Excuse me, I don't believe human politics are any of your business. What the Alliance does affects everyone around it. Stay out of this. Of course, Shepard. I'm a patriot, Mr. Saraceno. You've got my vote. It is gratifying to hear that. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. Since I have your vote, could I convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy? The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. So in this game, like I said before, your charm and intimidate bar, which you can actually upgrade by going to the squad and selecting Jane Shepard. This matters more for getting the dialogue options. Only for this game, it, it, it's changed in ME2 and ME3, where you do need to actually work on your Paragon and Renegade points. Try to maximize them and it will show up while you actually level up so on this screen when you select Jane Shepard you can see 
there's a bar and most of my choices are renegade some of them are paragon but unlocking mm, the options doesn't matter in this particular game uh so you need to be careful about that when you play me2 and me3 hey i know you you're shepherd right i saw the monument at akubs they got a whole section about you there it's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contract... In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the... Hello again, Commander. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. Human, this one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Commander. Ethan. Show me your items.
Commander. Show me your items. All right, let's go. We'll be going towards the main quest completion now. So make sure you talk to everybody. That's very important. And that's the only thing that's Your important in Mass Effect. Is extremely impressive, Dr. Tassoni. Is that typical among Asari? While the Asari have natural biotic abilities, not all have the desire to learn to use their abilities effectively. And the Asari are the most advanced race on the council. I wonder if all Citadel races will eventually be natural biotics. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination. Sir, this is a restricted area. Sir, you can't... Freeze! Back away from the console! Hands up! Now! Ooh. Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. It's strange, being a fugitive from the Alliance. This crew has sacrificed everything for you, Shepard. Don't let us down. This will all be over soon, Shepard. One way or another. This will all be over soon. I can't believe we stole the Normandy. I mean, I'm not surprised after everything you've told me, but still. You sound worried, Garrus. No, not really. If you're wrong, we'll pay for it. But if you're right and we did nothing, I think we'd regret it a whole lot more. I 
I just hope we can catch Sarah before they realize we're missing. We'll catch him. Just be ready when we do. Yes, Commander. Stealing an Alliance ship? Risky stuff. I hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. I'm not as crazy as everyone. Sometimes crazy is the best way to... I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. I hope you're right. Shepard. So make sure you apply all of the upgrades you can. This is the last mission officially in this game. Last mission that you actually uh, do something, uh, do some activities and rest are just basic choices that you are going to make in the game. And little bit of fighting, but uh, not much, yeah. So be ready, you are about to end the game. Take a look at the quest that you have to do, which is to go to Ilos, stop Saren. Message coming in. Patching it through. I have a difficult assignment, Commander. You're the only one I can trust to get it done. There's a criminal leader named Darius in the Skillian Verge who controls most of the Raider activity. I'd like you to negotiate a ceasefire with him. You're kidding. Admiral, I'm the last person who should be negotiating a ceasefire. That's exactly why I chose you, Commander. Darius is a warrior. He wouldn't take an Alliance negotiator seriously. But with your very public achievements, you represent a strong image that Darius has to respect. Show him that the Alliance won't back down. Show him he better make peace while he can. I still think this is a mistake, Admiral. You're not under my command, but we need you for this job. The meeting will take place on a remote barren planet. I'm also transmitting the background for this negotiation.
back, Commander. We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. There's going to be a lot of fighting and this is the last mission where you'll actually fight. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. moment I saw it, I knew it was too late. So like I said, there's some fighting in this area. Be careful. I forgot that they were going to actually start sending energy bolts right away. You can actually dodge it.
Come on. I made one mistake. Once. I made the same mistake once again. thing we need to do before we take that elevator is actually go downstairs By the way, this is the man from our visions. We had visions and we were seeing these things, especially in our first interaction. After that, we interacted with the VI, Sovereign's VI. That also brought in some Miller visions, but they were a little bit different.
We need to go over here, downstairs.
actually find items. This is one of the best music. Um, yeah, this is one of the best music in Mass Effect trilogy. It's the one they used in trailer as well because it's so refreshing, so cool. It's very soothing. What will we find down there? Whatever we find, be cautious. If this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it as well. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization, and the seat of government as it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. Come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay. The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated, and the Reapers invade. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? 
We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you'd surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the Relay Network. The Conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. 
One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? He couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning, a way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the Conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the Conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay, and the cycle of extinction will begin again. I'll take Sovereign down, somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time, the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion, but once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors, but if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope. So a message was sent across the network. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function, but we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. 
The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. We're in a race to save the galaxy and you want to play Q&A with a hologram? You are right. I am sorry. My personal feelings clouded my judgment. We... we should go. The one you call Saren has not reached the Conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry.
their culture, all their advanced technology, and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. Just like my mission, but they also gave us a chance to save ourselves. We must hurry. Have that last make or ride. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. This is the last time you get to do this. For some reason, it's not loading the entire map. Mm, let's just try checking. Be it loading correctly. Yeah, now it's loading the entire map. to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us.
Citadel! Evacuate the Council! Citadel Control! Citadel Control, do you copy? Like I said, save your game because the end is coming. Literally, the game, game's end. Yeah.
I was afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. Let's end this! You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. Fancy hardware's not gonna save you. You don't understand, Shepard. There is a place for organics in the New Order. The Reapers need men and women of action. People like us. Sovereign recognizes your value. You've impressed it. Surrender to the Reapers, and you will be spared. Join us, and we can find a place for you. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. This is also one of those moments where I think the synthesis ending of Mass Effect 3 is actually very, very bad ending. See, he's indoctrinated basically, and if you are synthesized, organics and the genetic material uh, of the organics will be basically partly synthetic because that happens on a genetic, uh, genetic level. So you could be indoctrinated and you'd never know. worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. True. That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the Council. You must hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension no matter what the cost. I hope the Council appreciates this. I'm saving the Council Alliance this time. Last time, I said go fuck them. 
I didn't care about the council last time, but time to do things differently. See all the choices. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the goddess. Make sure he's dead. He's dead. down no matter what the cost.
just a battle of patience. safe now. Where's the commander? Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. By defeating Sovereign, you have saved billions of lives. You have the courage of your convictions and a ruthless determination to succeed. Through your actions, you have become a symbol of everything humanity represents. Your species has an indomitable will, a fierce, savage spirit that will not bend or yield. We used to believe this made humans stubborn, even dangerous. But now we understand that these traits are what make you strong. There are dark times ahead. The Council needs humanity and its strength. As the Alliance Ambassador, I accept your offer. Humanity will join its strength to yours. We will take our seat on the Council. We will need a list of potential candidates. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? I want a true advocate for humanity on the Council. Someone who will protect the interests of our species no matter what. I want Udina. The Ambassador is the obvious choice. There are hard times ahead. He is a man capable of doing what needs to be done. The battle with Sovereign destroyed our illusions of peace and security. Now the galaxy will look to us, the Council, to defend them.
Sovereign alone nearly wiped you out. You won't stand a chance if the whole Reaper fleet shows up. Not unless I find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. We're on the verge of war with an enemy unlike any the galaxy has ever known. A war for the very survival of all life as we know it. Humanity is ready to do its part. We will not back down. We will not surrender. We will lead you into battle against the Reapers, and we will drive them back into dark space. Easily, hands down, one of the best games ever, and one easily the best RPG ever. Like I said, when I made the first video about Mass Effect Legendary Edition, the best RPG money can buy, and I stand by that statement. Everything you would want, especially in a sci-fi sci-fi video game, you have it in this game. Rise of AI Overlords, tech. Okay advanced combat using advanced weaponry and tactical shooter with powers and abilities biotics are there you have force fields you have um, implants and cybernetics yeah you have that and what else you have all of the sci-fi terminology because we sci-fi nerds like to talk about and we use our terminology and using these terminologies makes the scientific part of the scientific fiction come into play dark matter quantum quantum relays quantum entanglement which you use for communication FTL FTL travel space varying civilizations planets and on those planets if you're talking about the type of minerals and the geography that is there on on the planet which you can either uh, colonize the life forms the difference between the carbon based life forms and the silicon based life form they actually go on a few planets if you read the data if you read all the codex entries you'll find out that there are civilizations that are silicon based which is interesting that they, they they draw these differences and have scientifically and include a fiction to lay out what is possible outside the world because we in reality have no idea so we can only formulate a picture based on our imagination and we do a good work the way the aliens have been designed especially the asari and the salarians are very cool looking characters absolutely amazing garris and tali are my favorite characters ever let alone in this game and especially you develop on with tali um, romantic uh, relationship is also possible but I, I, I think Garrus is more like a brother you can romance him but he's more like a friend and a brother Ali is more I think uh, yes uh, you can romance her she she's a viable candidate for a romance partner that's it it's hard to describe what this game is packing Especially uh, without uh, actually creating a script and doing an official review, but there's a lot of hard work. And one of the best things about this game, as I always say, is voice acting. Right? Voice acting of each and every single character, of Shepard, and the dialogues that they've written in the script. It makes sense and it, it fits in perfectly. Yeah.
that's it. That's the end of the game, end of the video series from Mass Effect Legendary Edition Part 1, Mass Effect 1. Yeah, sorry, Mass Effect 1, but first Mass Effect 2 and 3 are still pending and I will make videos about them, but Mass Effect 1, that's it. And if you've been watching all of these videos, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.